blood-like people, if incompatible types meet, they may destroy each other. Because if you transfuse incompatible blood into a person, the host's immune system will destroy incoming blood. Moreover, this immune reaction can be so severe that the person might die from the incompatible blood transfusion. This incompatibility is a cause we have different types of bloods. We have four main blood types and three main players in defining blood types. A, protein B and rhesus factor, which is also a protein. All three are found on the surface of blood cells and person's blood type is determined based on the presence or absence of these proteins. The first blood type is O, which means the blood has no A and no B proteins. Consequently, those with type O blood cannot accept blood containing either A or B proteins. So with no A protein and no B protein present, where is the third K player, the rhesus protein? For simplification, if blood contains rhesus factor, it is called positive. If absence rhesus factor, it is called negative. So type of blood can be either negative or positive, depending on whether it contains the rhesus factor. This principle applies to all four blood types. Type A blood contains A protein and can be either rhesus positive or negative. Type B blood contains the B protein and can be either positive or negative. And type AB blood contains both A and B proteins and can be also AB negative or positive. The most common blood type is O positive, carried by almost 38% of world population, particularly South Americans and Asians. While type O negative is rare, but it is considered universal donor, which means it can be transfused to anyone without risk of an immune reaction because it has no A, no B, and no rhesus proteins. However, this blood type accepts only the same O negative in case when a person is blood receiver, not a donor. Having O blood type may also have health benefits like modest protective effect against heart disease and people with O blood type have slightly longer lifespan compared with other blood types. Second type is A positive blood. It's common among European people. Around 30% of population has type A blood. And third, type B positive blood is common in China and South Asia. Four, type AB positive blood. Generally, it's rare, but more common among Japan and South Korean population. As a general rule, negative blood types are much less common compared to rhesus positive ones. Also, ABO compatibility is more crucial than rhesus factor. When a person receives a blood transfusion, especially for the first time. For example, if a patient's blood type is A positive and you transfuse blood from type B positive person, Patient's immune system will perceive incoming type B blood as an enemy and will try to destroy it. It is called hemolysis. And this reaction is called hemolytic transfusion reaction. Blood destruction process is huge stress for the patient's organism and it leads to various symptoms such as fever, chills, chest pain, back pain, dark urine, low blood pressure and sometimes even death. The death risk from incompatible blood transfusion is around 30%. Death usually occurs because of strong inflammatory reaction during this blood destruction process and blood clot formation everywhere in the small blood vessels, which is called disseminated intravascular coagulation. Sometimes it's a result from shock, sometimes from kidney damage, if you transfuse blood to a person with ABO compatible but rhesus factor different, at the first transfusion symptoms will not occur. That's why in critical situations where there is no availability of rhesus compatible blood, it is sometimes possible to transfuse rhesus incompatible blood, but after the first transfusion, antibodies against the rhesus factor will develop and the second transfusion with different rhesus blood can be life-threatening. The same applies to pregnant women who are rhesus negative while the baby is rhesus positive. 
The first pregnancy is usually safe for both, but after the first delivery, the woman will start producing antibodies against the rhesus factor, and the second pregnancy can be dangerous for the baby because the mother's immune system will perceive it as a foreign invader and may try to destroy it. That's why when a rhesus negative woman is pregnant, it is recommended to get rhesus immunoglobulin at 28 weeks and before delivery.